A team of artists and volunteers spent the day painting a mural of Breonna Taylor and Black Lives Matter across two basketball courts in Annapolis today. Sean Stryker spoke to the team about the message they're hoping to convey. Breonna Taylor was shot and killed by police more than 600 miles from Maryland in Louisville, Kentucky. But she will be memorialized here in Annapolis with a mural so big you'll be able to see it from outer space. It should drive pretty quickly. It's a mural of monumental proportion. Let's start with the just the bottom one. I feel like it's time to stand as a community. And if we can do it through art, why not? This is that way of just really speaking volume and using our platform to ask for justice. A 7,000 square foot painting of Breonna Taylor, a 26 year old woman whose death sparked outrage when she was shot and killed by police in her apartment in Louisville, Kentucky. Public art is a tool to express community and, and social change. The artwork was made possible by organizations like Future History Now, the Banneker Douglas Museum, and the Maryland Commission on African American History and Culture. With this mural, we hope to involve the youth in, in uh, this pivotal moment in history in a very peaceful and active way. Once you get the roller loaded. It was designed by muralist Jeff Huntington in a way that a team of volunteers, regardless of their art background, could bring it to life. We're putting many small abstract pieces together to create one larger realistic piece. With the end result being so big, they say you'll be able to see it from outer space, making its message hard to miss. Community members from Annapolis to Kentucky to Germany to South Africa, we all want an end to systemic racism and police brutality. Now this team of volunteers and artists will be working through the 4th of July weekend. They hope to have the mural completed by Sunday night. Reporting in Annapolis, I'm Sean Stryker for WJZ.